6,000 years ago, the ancient Sumerians kept sky charts of our solar system. Their understanding of how our solar system worked 6,000 years ago is accurate, and we're only recently rediscovering what they already knew. In the ancient depictions by the Sumerians is at least one more planet, Nibiru, which translates as Planet of the Crossing. But why can we not see Nibiru now, especially if we consider ourselves far more advanced than ancient civilizations? Views from astronomy consider a highly irregular elliptical orbit, much like that of a comet, which takes planet Nibiru way into the depths of space and far beyond the trans-Neptunian region. Considering Pluto was only rediscovered in this region in 1930, it's possible that our solar system has a few more surprises in store for humanity. Modern sciences are only now beginning to confirm what ancient civilizations knew thousands of years ago. It's mind-boggling, and we have to ask the question, how did we forget this knowledge in the first place? It was discovered in the 1990s by the U.S. Naval Observatory that planets Uranus and Neptune were being influenced by an object that we could not see. Further observations confirmed that these two giants had an orbital perturbation. One explanation for the strange orbits is the pull of a massive but very dark rocky planet. Something might be shepherding the object, says Scott Shepard of the Carnegie Institute of Washington. Scientists calculated that this world would be about 10 times the mass of Earth, and would take 3,600 years to make an orbit around the Sun. It would explain Neptune and Uranus's perturbation. He confirms the undiscovered planet to be 10 times more massive than the Earth, and to have a highly elliptical orbital path, which would stretch 5 billion miles beyond the orbit of Pluto. In October 2015, a speck of light was observed, and it's now confirmed. A rocky world three times more distant than Pluto, the furthest body our solar system has ever seen, has been discovered. We don't know anything about its orbit, says Shepard, whose team discovered the new addition. We just know it's the most distant object known. Shepard announced the new object, called V774104, on the 10th of November at a meeting of the American Astronomical Society's Division for Planetary Sciences. From how it shifted in the sky as the Earth moved over a few hours, Shepard's team calculates that V774104 is about 103 astronomical units away from the Sun, where one astronomical unit is the distance from the Earth to the Sun. That's about as far away as the twin Pioneer probes, which have been traveling since 1972 and 73. Back in 1983, the Washington Post ran an article headlined, Mystery Heavenly Body Discovered. In the article, it explained that an object the size of Jupiter and so close to the Earth that it would become visible in the future. According to the Washington Post, a heavenly body possibly as large as the giant planet Jupiter and possibly so close to the Earth that it would be part of our solar system has been found in the direction of the constellation Orion by an orbiting telescope aboard the U.S. infrared astronomical satellite. Dr. James Honick confirmed it's part of our solar system. In an article in Newsweek on July 13, 1987, NASA disclosed that there may be a tenth planet orbiting our sun. According to NASA research scientist John Anderson, Planet X might actually be out there, but nowhere near our planets. The article from Newsweek states, if he's right, two of the most intriguing puzzles of space science might be solved. What caused the mysterious irregularities in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune during the 19th century? and what killed off the dinosaurs 26 million years ago. On October 23, 1996, an article from the Associated Press called New Rebel Planet Found Outside of the Solar System states the following. A new planet that breaks all the rules about how and where planets form has been identified in orbit of a twin star about 70 light years from Earth in a constellation commonly known as Northern Cross. The new planet has a roller coaster like orbit that swoops down close to its central star, then swims off far into the frigid fringes, following an egg shaped orbit that is unlike any other known planet. The orbital path Nibiru is on suggests that it passes between Jupiter and Mars every 3600 years. Now, this is where the asteroid belt exists, and it led some astronomers to theorize that the asteroid belt was either a planet or a large moon that collided with the Nibiru system billions of years ago, being totally destroyed and creating the debris field that forms the belt. Carlos Munoz Ferrara, an expert astronomer, warned that Nibiru would be visible within a hundred years, and Zacharias Ditchin spent his life deciphering ancient texts which proved that this planet has been visible to stargazers on Earth thousands of years ago. Will we see this mysterious planet anytime soon? Who knows, but one thing's for sure, and that's that there's at least one planet in our solar system that's yet to be rediscovered. Thanks for watching, and remember, the ways at which we arrive at knowledge are hardly less wonderful than the discovery of these things themselves.